Hello, my name is Rosanna Wheatley um, and I'm a clinical research fellow working at the Christie. So the work I'm going to present today is work that I've done as part of my MD degree um, and I've set up a study called the Embracer study and this is a single centre observational study um, of the oral and gut microbiome in patients with biliary tract cancer, including patients with cholangiocarcinoma. So I'll start by just introducing the term microbiome. So this term essentially refers to microorganisms, so including um, things like bacteria and fungi, and it refers to their genetic material as well as the particular environment that they're in. So an example of this would be the oral cavity um, or the gut. And studies to date in other cancer types have demonstrated that the microbiome um, may have a role in cancer development and progression, whilst other exploratory studies have reported associations between the microbiome and patient response to cancer treatment, including immunotherapy, which is emerging as a potential new treatment option for patients with biliary tract cancer, including cholangiocarcinoma. So this is a rapidly um, emerging field of research and offers study of the microbiome as a potential tool for diagnosis, for prognostication, or even as a potential therapeutic target. And an example of this would be the use of fecal microbiota transplantation, which is currently being explored in phase one clinical trials. So most studies reporting on the microbiome um, refer to the microbiome diversity and also to the microbiome composition. And when looking at the diversity, this can be broken down into alpha diversity and beta diversity. And when we talk about alpha diversity, we're talking about the species diversity within a sample, so within a single sample. And when we're talking about beta diversity, we're talking about the diversity between samples. Um, and this is highlighted on the poster in figure one. So going back to embrace the study, as mentioned before, this is a prospective single center observational study of the oral and gut microbiome in patients with biliary tract cancer who are receiving standard of care chemotherapy in the adjuvant and also in the first line advanced setting. So eligible patients for this study include patients with cholangiocarcinoma, um, as well as patients with gallbladder cancer and ampullary cancer. The sample collection for this study will be in the form of saliva and stool sample collection. And for patients receiving chemotherapy in the first line advanced setting, they will have a sample collected at baseline and again at 12 weeks. And for patients receiving chemotherapy in the adjuvant setting, they have a sample collected at baseline and then again at six months. So our primary endpoint for this study is collecting data on the sample diversity and going back to alpha and beta diversity, as well as looking at sample composition. And the way that we report sample composition is through something called operational taxonomic unit clustering. Our secondary endpoints include correlation of these microbiome variables, so sample diversity and composition, with medication use, um, including antibiotics, proton pump inhibitors, metformin and laxatives. And we're going to be correlating those microbiome variables and medication use with tumour response. Tumour response is going to be measured using RESIST criteria at 12 weeks in patients receiving chemotherapy in the first line advanced setting. We're also going to be correlating these microbiome variables and medication use with progression-free survival and overall survival. For Embracer study, our recruitment target is 74 patients in the first line advanced setting. And we are also hoping to recruit an exploratory cohort of up to 26 patients in the adjuvant setting. Um, Embracer study opened this year in February 2022, and recruitment is currently in progress. So I just want to thank you for listening and also thank AMMF for giving me the opportunity to present this study. My contact information is on the poster, 
and I would welcome any questions if you would like to get in touch. Thank you.